Hey guys, welcome to part 3 uh, of the video series on designing your own CSS website. Today we're going to, uh, in this video we're going to cover the formatting of the site to take it from uh, this basic structure where we have the header, sidebar, content area and footer and actually add some basic content to get it looking like an actual site. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to modify the CSS we built yesterday to add things like padding, uh, text alignment, and other things. Uh, we're going to add content and an image to the sidebar. We're going to add some content to the main area. And we're going to add a basic copyright uh, to the footer, which is uh, an essential with any website. So let's go to the code. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to make some modifications to the, to the CSS up here in the top section. Uh, starting at the top, the body is fine as it is. Now we can you can add other things to the body. You can add H1 tags. We're just going to leave it very basic for the moment. Okay, the contain the div1 container tag uh, is already set as we need it. The header we're going to make a small modification here. Now there are two things we want to do to the header. We want to bring in a header image that I've already created. So after the, the background color, we want to type URL. Now again, uh, ignore the pop-up of the uh, of Dreamweaver. Uh, if you don't have Dreamweaver, you're probably not seeing that. But uh, And you would put in here the uh, image location of the header you want to use. Now the header I've created is uh, 600 pixels wide by 100 pixels deep so that it perfectly fits our header size. Um, uh, as the uh, header image is actually in the same folder as the file, it just goes straight in like so. Uh, if you have it at a different location, just enter the whole URL is the easiest way. Okay, we also want to add a small, uh, another line at the bottom here, which is going to add padding. Now padding is uh, essentially a gap this jump over is essentially a gap. Oh, there you go. You can see the header; it's automatically loaded. In. The padding is the gap between the content here and the edge of the frame. So, as you can see, header now has a space uh, top and left of the word, as compared to these other ones, which are flush right up. Uh, we'll be fixing all of that. Okay. So there's the header done. Uh, the main content tag is already fine as it is. Uh, we don't need to change that because the sidebar and content actually have all of that information already, so it's pointless editing anything in here for the moment when we can do it better by editing the sidebar and the content. So, uh, starting with the sidebar, again, we want to add the padding. Of, we'll go with 5 pixels again. Plus, we're going to also add a text alignment to justify, justify it. Uh, now, what that's going to do is if the text wraps uh, at the end of the line, it's going to uh, make it so it's flush left and right, makes it look a lot more professional. You can have that left, right, centered, and that's entirely up to you. Uh, there's the sidebar done. The content we're going to use exactly the same. Uh, there are two ways of doing that. The easiest way, uh, and if you do this a lot, you'll find yourself copying and pasting a lot. You basically want to, just same thing, padding of five pixels, text alignment justified. Uh, if you wanted to um, have different size padding on the left and right, you can do that. You can actually have padding dash left, padding dash right, padding dash top, etc. Uh, so you can completely customize the different padding widths and everything. We're keeping it very simple. In the future, as we design the site out, we will actually come back and revisit the CSS. We'll be adding new sections, removing some sections. Um, but for the moment, we're going to keep it nice and simple. And we're going to leave it at that. Okay, in the footer, uh, same thing again, you're going to add two lines. Now, we're going to add them after the border. Uh, it doesn't matter what order you actually put these in, but I like to have the clear section um, here. I like to have that at the bottom. So, now with the footer, we're actually going to use something different. We're going to have uh, three different um, padding settings, but instead of doing it with padding dash top, padding dash left, padding dash bottom, etc. We're going to use it with one padding code. So we're going to have padding dash, and then we're going to have four numbers. 3px refers to the top, 5px refers to the right, 0 or 0px refers to the bottom, and 5px refers to the left. 
when there are four numbers, it always starts at the top and works clockwise. So top, right, bottom, left. If you had two numbers, the first one would, would refer to the top and bottom. The second number would refer to the left and right. Uh, the easiest way to ensure that you get everything right, just stick with four numbers. It's the easiest way. You, you can't go wrong. Even if you want three zero zero zero, it's just... Uh, it makes things a lot easier instead of having a whole lot of code. The key to CSS, and this is the, the advantage of CSS, uh, is you can have all of your basic system format settings uh, without having to have scrolls and scrolls of code. So uh, it simply it makes it easier. So that's the basic addition that we're going to put to the, uh, to the actual uh, CSS code. Now we're going to make some modifications to the site template itself. So we're just going to jump back and you'll see, um, ah, you see, it's wrapped. Now, this is one thing that adding padding does do. So we need to go back and we need to go to uh, the sidebar, and we're going to drop the sidebar from 200 to 180. Now, the reason it does that is when you add padding, it tends to add it uh, onto the width that you set it. So if you had the sidebar set to 200, and then you had padding at 5, uh, it essentially adds 10, so that makes 210, and you've also added 5 here, so you've essentially added, you know, 20 extra pixels um, where you had it set not wide enough. So by adding, dropping 20 off there, and we'll just check that. There you go, and it's put it, it's put it flush nicely. Okay, we're going to make some changes. Uh, for a start, we don't need this header text because we've got the image. It's going to delete that. That's all it needs. That there is going to load the entire header. As you can see, it's highlighted. This is Dreamweaver, so we'll just ignore that. Okay, the sidebar. We're just going to add some uh, some content. I think uh, we'll add this. Do, 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 do. This is the sidebar, nice and simple. And then we're going to add. Uh, we'll add a paragraph code. Allow some spacing. We'll add a lot of text. close paragraph and then we'll add I think an image so we'll have again start off the paragraph you don't really need that but we're going to we have img space src it's image source equals open uh, we have the image I know I've got an image already created we've got site turco.jpg uh, as you can see there's a definite hockey theme coming in my site and then we're going to add an alt which is the uh, when you hold your mouse over an image and it pops up that little thing of text explaining what the um, what the image is? Uh, that's the alt. And we're going to add width. Uh, you don't need this if your image is set right. Um, I prefer to always include the width and height because it just guarantees and uh, sorry, it ensures that your image loads uh, as it's supposed to. We have a trailing slash, and then we're going to close that tag, and that's the image. And then of course we're going to close the paragraph tag, and that's the uh, sidebar. Now the main content. Uh, add a content section again. We'll have a paragraph. We'll close that, and that'll do for the pa for that um, main content. Uh, in the footer, we're going to add a basic copyright. That's the uh, little C in the circle, and that's done by using the code, which is the ampersand or and symbol copy uh, semicolon, and that well that that code will add the C, and then 2009 uh, 6C2K.com, and there you go. We'll look at it over here, and as you can see, uh, there we have the um, the basic site, including the footer. Now the, the one thing that we didn't do is we didn't center align. Uh, that is something we wanted to do. Center align the footer, and we're going to add a new one in here, which is text align center, and that it adds into the footer CSS. And there it goes, nicely aligned. You've got your sidebar, your image, your header, and that's your ba that's a basic site build done right there. Um, all of the formatting is done through CSS, all of the site structure, and everything loads as you need it. In number four, we're going to show you how to enhance the CSS and, and further develop the site. Until then, thank you.